we've come up to Trafalgar Square Sunday see the start of the Christmas markets meanwhile there's quite a decent sized protest by Afghans here protesting against the Taliban so fair play to them I say Killing people, we are standing with them, yes or no? Alright, now I just want to see So that's cool. Welcome to another episode of Don't Be Stupid Vlog. This is the bottom of uh, Waterloo Place, is this? Yeah, I think so. Um, it looks lovely, doesn't it? With the big Christmas tree, and then you've got all the lights up Haymarket. Is it high Do you know, I never know which road's which around here. Um, but anyway, it looks lovely regardless. Like the Christmas markets were interesting, expensive, and you know, maybe a little bit pointless, but it's a good excuse to get us up here and uh, we get to see some Christmassiness. Hi, this is St. James's Park. There's lots of angry geese. montage i've just come into queue because it's a beautiful autumn morning and i felt quite rough the last couple of days and i don't feel great this morning but i went for a pcr test yesterday which i'm waiting on the results of i don't think it's anything covid related and don't you know the cough lasted literally a day so um but we'll know soon that's why i'm staying away from humans and uh wearing a mask but it's so beautiful out, like it's really stunning and still. And there's a there's a dew on the grass, which I don't know if you can see, um, because the light doesn't really, no, it doesn't capture it. Um, but I promise you there is a glistening. Um, anyway, so, so yeah, I just thought I'd come into my spiritual home and look at the light through the leaves. and sort of marvel of the place in which I live. Whilst I'm in a good mood and the sun is shining, did I properly talk about the fact that we've had to cancel our trip to Berlin? Um, we have, because uh, under 12s have to do a mandatory five day quarantine because they can't be jabbed. So, 
they haven't changed that rule. In fact, they extended it out till the beginning of next year. So that meant that myself and Crystal could go fine, but Amelia couldn't. Anyway, so we cancelled the trip, which is the one thing I didn't want to do. I was really worried about it being cancelled. I thought it'd be cancelled because of the house move. Possibly. Um, but I think I came to terms with it broadly over the last two or three weeks. And so I'm definitely upset about it, but... I'm also quite philosophical about it. It might mean that we get to see Berlin in the springtime instead, which would be very nice. Look at that, colours in it. Um, in the meantime, I've just had a very interesting phone call about going to a different country in two weeks time. So is the world waking up again? Feels a bit like it. Who knows, it might not come off this, but it's an interesting, interesting thought that these questions are coming up again. The best of the weather this time of year is always before midday. I don't know why, but it always is. And so I'm glad I came out because the clouds are coming. It might even rain this afternoon, crazy. Um, but I got to see autumn in its full glory for a couple of hours, so I feel good. I'm gonna go home and do some work because, you know, I do sometimes forget that uh, my life is not that of um, a man of leisure. I do actually have a job and I'm quite fortunate that, you know, on a Tuesday morning I can be sitting on a bench in queue in the sunshine with nothing pressing and a few years ago that would have been unimaginable and now it's normal and I think uh, it's amazing but sometimes what it does is it my stress levels my default stress level is so low that nowadays that actually I'm not as good as co at coping with stress as I probably was when I was in full-time work anyway I'll leave you there this very very pretty hedge show you what an evening looks like on the terms. It's about the time I go to pick up Amelia. So it's about 10 to 5. It's very pretty, it's just, you know, stupidly dark. That's why I was only lived too far north. First thing about autumn really, isn't it? Let's not kid ourselves. I mean the colours are nice, but actually really what you want to do is run through a massive load of leaves and give them a kick. How's it going for you? That's the evolution. It does look impressive, doesn't it? It always looks great until you put a load of humans in it. It's enormous space, it's really hard to compete with. Bustling, which usually means it's time for me to go. Good evening, so that was a pretty normal night for me in some ways sort of arriving at a venue sort of quarter past five and then doing whatever I need to do this time it was guestless iPads sometimes it's crowd screens who knows turn up with the kit make sure the kit works it just about barely did today make sure everyone's happy wait till everyone's done with the kit and everything they need to do <coughs> excuse me <coughs> because that was only guest list today I just had to wait for everyone to do their for everyone to arrive basically and then all the hosts gave me the iPads back check them all out turn them all off and come home pretty straightforward it's about quarter past 20 past nine at the moment um it would have been back early except they can cancelled uh, the train I was going to get so I had to go get a bus to a zip car and then decided to get myself some dinner because I thought I'd be back about an hour ago anyway all in all 
quite straightforward. I'm going to eat my dinner and go to bed. <laughs>